Um, you seem like a workaholic. Every time I see you on the gram, you always posting music or shooting interviews or, you know, I see you always out there politicking. Um, how important do you think the studio is for an artist? How important do you think that shit is? The studio is very important. You should have, like, a lot of music. You should always have a lot of music because times like right now, you can drop singles and stuff. Unless you're working on a project and you already plan on not dropping singles right now, but if you... But it's like times right now, you can be just dropping singles or making videos, whatever. I think studio time is very important. Dope. That's dope. How often do you stay in the studio during the week if you had to calculate it? How many hours you put in the studio? I, because it varies. I can go like, I might go like three weeks and not go to the studio. And then one week, I might go to the studio literally like every day. Mm -hmm. So, how long do you, just, how long you stay in the studio if you go like every day? How many songs you I'm can not, knock out? How many songs you probably knock out in a day or a week if that? An hour, every hour, I have to do two songs. Mm hmm. So, if I get an hour, I'm going to do two songs. If I get six hours, I'm going to do 12 songs. I might do 10 songs because in six hours, I'm probably going to stop and eat. So, I might just be 10 instead of 12. And you're paying for all the studio time out of pocket? Yeah. Oh, dope. Um, yeah, that's dope right there, Blue. You work, you're a workaholic, sound seems like, man. Um, sound like, that's dope. Um... Yeah, uh, cause I feel like you know right now this is a perfect time for artists to really get in the studio right now and really hone their craft. Yeah, yeah. Really hone their craft though, man, cause uh, you know, but when you do like you know on your like on your break time, you know when you like okay, I might go get something. Will you be eating that though? You know, like what when you're in the studio, what what are some things you like? keep you going like what is some something to keep your creative juices flowing like okay you smoke weed you got snacks do you have a lot of people in the studio which is like what's your process is in the studio oh, i usually don't have a lot of people in the studio i don't like that um gatorade blue gatorade ring pop sour trolley worms they have to be the trolley brand i don't like the store brand so um, yeah that's pretty much it if I'm doing like eight hours or more, nine times out of ten, if I'm doing eight hours or more, I'm in Georgia, so I'm definitely got to get JJ Fish. <laughs> um, is there any drugs in the studio? Is any weed, any weed, or any uh, alcohol? I don't, I don't smoke. Um, when I'm in the studio, I barely smoke. Mm -hmm. I'm not a heavy smoker. Mm -hmm. Um, if we don't in the studio because I feel like I can't breathe. I don't like it. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. I don't like it. And I'm not a productive smoker. That's why I don't that's why I'm not a smoker. Mm. When I do have my days when I smoke, I wanna go to sleep. Okay. Is there uh is there any alcohol you drink in the studio? I don't drink at all. I don't okay. take shots. I'm not a drinker. So, not even no fruity, no mix, no nothing. I don't drink. Okay. So it'd just be yeah. you and the engineer, pretty much? Yeah, I mean, I might have, like, one person, maybe my cousins in town, maybe my friend. But, like, as far as, like, 12 people being in there, it happened. It's like if I'm doing a feature and it's really day homeboys. I don't, I don't like that. How, how do you feel being in the studio? Like, that's, that was, well, that's, that wasn't on my, my paperwork, right though, but that's a good question right there to ask you. Uh, when you're in the studio, when you go in to the artists you're doing a feature for, how do you feel just being around a bunch of people that you don't know? Do you bring your people with you just because, like, I don't know what type of time they're on? So I'm, I'm a, um, I, I do, I go a lot of places by myself. So, or if Blue, I do, you can't do that. You're a, you're a young black woman. You cannot do that, Blue. Again, I got a comb that turned into a knife, and I got pepper spray, and I got a gun on the way. So, I can do that. Blue, yeah. you need to get you a team of people with you, Blue. You need to move like you need to move like Obama. Blue, what are you doing out there in these streets? It ain't enough. It ain't too many people here that I trust enough. If I don't like people around me, I don't trust people up to be around me like that. So, if you gotta be, no, no, I ain't. 
I ain't with that. I, I'm okay. Especially a lot of times with dudes, they always want me to pick the studio, and I'm always pick about. I'm gonna pick about time with Jay Real. Jay Real definitely not gonna let that happen to me. So I'm straight. Hmm. And then when I go, if they got a lot of people with them, I'm like a social anti-social person. Like I don't really. I don't really, I don't like being around a lot of people, but I, when I'm around a lot of people, I know how to socialize. I'm I'm funny, I'm goofy, you know what I'm saying? But as soon as I leave, like, don't, I don't want to go out to eat into the club with y'all. I want to go home. I, I want to do by myself now. Mm, right. I don't mind people to have a lot of people with them, because that's how a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, work. That's how they, that's how they get in their vibe, so... Ba- yeah, because really, the industry is pretty much based on relationships, so do you feel like Okay, I need to be with this person like to boost my fan base and boost his fan base. Like, do you ever felt like okay, maybe I need to just do these so, these these social media antics to do that, Blue? Um, I only want to do songs with people that I want to do songs with, and that's I've done songs with people who don't have no following and people that have a lot of followers. Blue, you can't I, do that, Blue. You got to work with I everybody, Blue. Yeah, you can. I mean. If I don't want to do no song with you, if I don't think you are, I'm not doing no song with you. And that's just about love. Because then I'm not going to, I'm just going to be on the song like, this is bullshit. I'm not making nobody else's songs hard no more. But that can help you stand out too as an artist though. Like you made a, a terrible song way. And that can really, you probably can help that song go number one on the chart. Yeah, maybe one day, but not right now. I'm not doing that right now. Cause I ain't really charging like that for no feature, so I'm not wasting my time. Mm-hmm. Time is money right now. I ain't rich. I can't be going. I'm not going to the studio to do nothing. What? Is it? Do you have any crazy studio stories? Like any crazy anything that happened crazy at the studio that's unforgettable? Uh huh. No, not really. Well, maybe probably one time when I was in Georgia. Uh, this dude named Magic was recording me and uh. Twisted Genius, you know him? He, um, I think it's Emotionally Scarred. He made that for Lil Baby. And other one, and a lot of, uh, what the other? But anyway, he made that beat for him, for Lil Baby. So he was there, and we was really all just chilling, and then he got on the song, and he just started freestyling. Uh, and he was talking a lot of shit. Mm-hmm. He was talking, but it was, I mean, it was in a funny way. That's probably the only thing. Like when I go to the studio, I go to the studio to like work. Uh like I said, I gotta do two songs an hour. I don't have money to waste. Mm-hmm. 